Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is workout two of my brand new dumbbell shred series. This is similar setup to the last one. So we've got 10 exercises and two rounds, but we're gonna be doing some different exercises today, mixing it up a bit. Still full body, still two dumbbells. So when you are warmed up and ready to go, let's do this. So first exercise is going to be alternate back lunges. We're gonna be holding both the dumbbells, we're gonna step a single leg back, lower down until both knees are at a 90 degree angle, come back up, and then we send the opposite leg back, back up to center. We've got 40 seconds of alternate back lunges coming up. Let's go. So keeping a nice proud chest, sending a single leg back into that lunge. We're gonna alternate which leg that we send back. Keep it a nice neutral spine, lowering down slowly with control. Keep going. Okay, five more seconds. All right, set those dumbbells down. Next up, we've got curl to Arnold press. So we're doing supinated bicep curl, which just means that the palms are going to be facing forwards we do that curl and then from this position we're going to press up above the head as you do it twist so that your palms are facing forward at the top of each rep let's go so curl and then an Arnold press So supinated bicep curl into an overhead press with a twist. Keeping soft knees, neutral spine. And take a rest. Set those dumbbells down. All right, next up we've got upright rows. So here, Feet are going to be about hip width apart. Soft knees, we're holding both the dumbbells with the palms facing towards the body. We're gonna lift those dumbbells straight upwards, but we're going to make sure the elbows do not go above the shoulders. So up to about here, and then lower down. Keeping a nice neutral spine, keeping a strong foundation, engaging your core, tensing your abs. And those dumbbells are gonna come straight upwards vertically. But we're gonna make sure the elbows don't flare up above the shoulders. 10 more seconds. Okay, take a rest. Next up, we've got sumo squats. So, we've got a really nice wide stance here. Weight is gonna be in the heels and your toes are gonna to be slightly turned outwards. We're gonna lower down like we're sitting down into a chair, holding both the dumbbells. We come up and then lower back down. So a nice wide sumo squat by keeping the dumbbells beneath your body. It's gonna stop you from being able to come straight up and locking out the knees, and that's good, because we want to keep that tension in the glutes. So you're slightly bending forward, but keeping your core engaged, keeping a neutral spine. Take a rest. Next up, we're working slow, um, just on the biceps, so we're doing hammer curls. That just means that we're doing bicep curls, but we're gonna keep a neutral grip, so the palms are facing inwards, like this. Keep your feet about hip width apart, a slight bend in the knees. Let's go.
Keep going, 20 seconds to go. Keep going. And take a rest. Great work, we're gonna work on the front delts next. We're doing a front raise twist with a single dumbbell. So we're holding a dumbbell at either end. What we're gonna do is keeping the arm straight, we're gonna lift it in front of the body, twist one way, then twist the other, just like you're turning a steering wheel. Let's go. Straight up, and then two twists, and down. Tough exercise, this one. If it feels a little bit too easy for you, because maybe you're using lighter dumbbells today, then you can do this with both of the dumbbells. Don't do the twist, just do a standard front raise with both the dumbbells. And rest. Okay, set one of your dumbbells aside again. What we're gonna do this time is we're gonna set a dumbbell up on its end at the end of the mat like this. We're gonna be in a high plank position. We're gonna alternate tapping the top of that dumbbell. So high plank position, and then we simply tap that dumbbell. Alternating which hand we tap it with, keeping the body as straight as possible, keeping your core engaged. Make sure, make sure you're not sending your bum too far up in the air like this, and make sure you're also not letting it come down too close to the ground like that. A nice neutral spine. Keep going. Okay, take a rest. We're gonna work the obliques some more now. So we've got wood chops. We're gonna start with left to right. We're holding one dumbbell at each end. We're gonna start with the outside of the left hip. We're gonna bring it up and over the right shoulder. We're gonna continue with that motion. Let's go. So make sure that you twist the spine, but slowly with control. And we're going up and over the right shoulder from the left hip. Keep going. Keep going. And rest, set that dumbbell down. Okay, next we're doing the same on the other side. So again, holding one dumbbell at each end of the dumbbell, we're gonna start with it outside the right hip, we bring it up and over the left shoulder. Let's get ready to go. Okay, let's go. Ten seconds, keep going. And take a rest. Okay, last exercise of the first round. It's gonna be a sit-up press. So, we're lying on our back on the floor, feet flat on the ground. What we're gonna do is be holding one dumbbell with both hands. You're gonna do a strong sit-up. As you do it, press that dumbbell above the head. Keep 
Keep going, you got 10 more seconds. And take a rest, okay. That is the end of round one. Great job, guys. Grab a sip of water if you need. If you need to pause the video and get a little bit of extra rest, that's fine. Just pause it and come back in when you feel comfortable. So, we're gonna repeat those 10 exercises. We've got alternate back lunges coming up next. Let's go. Keep going, 10 seconds. And take a rest. Great work. Okay, next up, we've got the curl for Arnold Press. So remember, these are supinated curls and then into an overhead press with a twist. Whew. Okay, let's go. Keep going. Ten seconds. And rest. Great work. Set those dumbbells down. Grab some water if you need. Make sure you're staying hydrated. So next up we've got those upright rows. Grab your dumbbells. Let's go. And rest. Great job. Next up, we've got those sumo squats. So remember, we've got a really wide stance here with the toes turned outwards. Both the dumbbells. And we're going to lower down slowly with control. Keep that tension at the top of each rep. Let's go. Great job, keep going. Okay, take a rest. Great job, we've got hammer curls coming up next. So remember, these are bicep curls with neutral grip. 10 more seconds of rest. Whew. All right, let's get ready to go. Keep 
Estamos. Ah, take a rest. Oh, great work. Next up, front raise twist with one dumbbell. All the exercises will be with one dumbbell now. You can set one aside. Okay, let's go. So front raise with a twist. Oh, it's getting tough. Five seconds. And rest. Great work. Next up, plank forward taps. So dumbbells on its end at the end of your mat. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to be in a high plank position, alternating, tapping that dumbbell. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going, 10 more seconds. Stick with me. Five seconds. And rest. Right, wood chops coming up next. Just a few more exercises to go, guys. Stick with me. Wood chops left to right. So, starting outside the left hip and going up over the right shoulder. All right, let's go. Keep going. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Go. And rest. Set that dumbbell down. Got the same on the other side now. So wood chops from outside the right hip to over the left shoulder. Okay, let's do this. Okay, take a rest. Great work. You've come to the last exercise of this workout. So we've got the sit up press. Challenging exercise to finish on. Let's smash this together. Grab your dumbbell. Let's go. Keep going, 20 seconds. Stick with me. Keep 
Kika. Ten more seconds, come on. And that is it. Well done for completing this workout. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was the second in my five part dumbbell shred series. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll link a short cool down and stretch routine in the top right hand corner. If you like this then please like the video, subscribe to my channel and click the notification button. I'll see you guys on the next workout. Hey guys, I just want to take this opportunity to tell you about where I filmed my workout today. With MyFitPod, you get the whole gym to yourself. You can train solo, with a friend, or with your PT clients. It's got top of the range equipment like Peloton and Primal Strength in an aesthetic space. And the best part is, is that they're moving into more locations this year.